Yes, yeah, certainly. Uncertainty is uh, the word we have today in the market. Uh, I think, uh, as you mentioned, uh, we had a big surprise yesterday in the elections. We did think that the right-wing party was going to be able to get enough votes to, to together with uh, the extreme right-wing, be able to govern. And the truth is, today, uh, we can have anything. We can have a coalition of right-wing parties, a coalition of left-wing parties. We can have new elections. Uh, so today, anything is possible. What we know for sure is that if we do see a government being formed, it's going to be a weak government with too many coalitions, too many promises made to third parties, which uh, certainly isn't the best thing for, uh, for the economy right now. We see in particular the Spanish banks are trading lower this morning. Can you give us some background on why this is happening? Well, basically because, uh, because it was expected uh, to, have, uh, to have a strong government. Mm -hmm. Um, and this certainly isn't good for the banks, it's not good for the economy. In the case of the banks in particular, additionally to this, we have the special taxes which, uh, which uh, Mr. Sanchez and his government has put on, on both banks and, uh, and uh, energy companies. And that was something which somehow was expected, perhaps not to be removed, but certainly reduced. And so you think that because there's still a possibility of a, of a left-wing uh, government, that this the windfall would stay in place for the foreseeable future, potentially? Absolutely. I think today there's probably a bigger chance of a left-wing government than a right-wing government. Okay, interesting. Um, but it looks like no matter who comes into power, the one thing that we probably have to tackle is the debt uh, level, 113% of GDP. That seems to be the key challenge for the Spanish economy, right? I think the Spanish economy has several challenges. One of them is certainly the, the, the high uh, debt-to-GDP ratio of 113 percent. If we compare that to 91 percent in Europe, it's, uh, it's one of the big uh, things they have to tackle. They have to tackle unemployment. We have a 12.7 percent unemployment rate, which we need to reduce to around 8 percent. Today, we more than double what, uh, what the Eurozone is doing. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have public deficit at 4.8 negative. We need to reduce that to around 3 percent. So, I mean, we have many things to tackle. Um, obviously, the debt to, to GDP ratio is one of the big ones.